It's the morning of day four, or one could say an extension of the night of day three. We had a very long night getting here, lots of bad weather, but we got here to, what's this place called? Hedge Hollow Raceway. It's pretty cool. It's a privately owned track that only invited groups and individuals can go to, and it's beautiful. So it's also long, it's three point something miles. So it should be pretty fun today. Morning recap from Hedge Hollows in somewhere in Missouri. Um, this is an amazing track. It's privately owned. Um, I guess some guy made it for he and his buddies and then he lets folks like us, I guess, use it. But it's over three miles long, really, really long laps. Uh, lots of different stuff here. Some blind things, um, uh, a crest that you have to go over flat out, which is a little scary. Um, morning session when okay i can see i i can pick up a lot of speed in a lot of places i i still play 61st which is good for me um but i see there's a lot of meat on the bone so i'm really looking forward to the afternoon another factor about the morning that kind of slowed me down one it was kind of wet when we got here and that always makes me a little nervous uh there was some standing water still on the track in a corner um but it was okay and then i also passed somebody um in my last lap so that always slows you down a little bit but 61st Hey, not bad. That's about where I want to be placing um, in every day. So overall, pretty happy, but hopefully I can do better this afternoon. Well, it wouldn't be one lap without some sort of calamity. Apparently my gas tank got a hole punched in it, and it's right where I patched it in the past. So I'm trying to drain it so it stops leaking and can hopefully patch it temporarily with 5 in epoxy so I can run my last session and then patch it more properly with real JB Weld gas tank patch. The first step of trying to fix this is I've opened up the uh, fuel return line on the side of the tank in order to drain the tank and try to lower the level enough that the level is below this side where it's leaking so I can get the leak dry and then I can try to patch that side. Here's the current state of the patch. We put six minute JB Weld on, let it dry for about 30 minutes, and put gas in and poured out because it was still somewhat viscous. So any pressure from the gas made it squirt out. So luckily they're giving me some more time before I have to run. And so I'm waiting and hopefully this can dry, but I've also put that plastic piece over it to try to just span out the pressure a little bit. Um, and see a little, a little better. So it's a race against the clock. I have 30 minutes more until uh, the, the session ends. So if I can get it fixed enough to run in the next 30 minutes, I can run. Otherwise, I lose this session, unfortunately. Unfortunate update on the gas tank saga. It's still leaking. What happened is pressure kept building in the tank. It dissolved the JB Weld and couldn't cure. So I missed my run this afternoon, which really stinks because that's zero points. Um, but our friends, the wing grandpas, are going to go get some real gas tank uh, repair stuff. I'm going to clean off the area and prep it, and hopefully we can fix this and get on the road. I've uh, removed the old patch from the gas tank so I can hopefully patch it properly. And I found that there's some uh, light waiting here. Here's some. A hole there and then there's another hole I think a, sorry a little one right there and then definitely one right here so I'm letting the, all the gas drain out so it can dry out and uh, stop leaking and we can get a good surface to put the patch in here's an update on the patch so uh, there's a team here of our friends, the winged grandpas, who were our guardian angels today. They went out and got some actual tank sealer. Uh, so there's a double seal here. There's some putty sealing the holes and then proper fiberglass reinforced JB Weld tank sealant. So hopefully this seals it up and we'll be ready for tomorrow. We're about to hit the road, uh, leaving Hedge Hollow. Again, we are the last cars here. <laughs> for another day. We weren't quite last yesterday because we were helping somebody else fix their car, but 
Ooh, another nine hour transit ahead of us, but the gas tank seems to be holding. Uh, so hopefully I'm good for tomorrow and good for tonight for the transit. Here's my best slap at Hedge Hollow. I apologize there's no telemetry because um, this track actually doesn't register on Garmin's Catalyst. Here's corner one, which is a really fast corner. And a lot of cars took the exit differently. I kept it kind of tight and kept it right up to the rumble strip. A lot of cars ran wider. I actually don't know what the fastest line was, but I kind of copied the line of the fastest car in the whole race. So I think it was okay. Corner two was left-hander um, going down into this. This is kind of a auxiliary section of the track, which is an add-on. Uh, you can run it or not. And then coming into this right-hander, um, which is a, a very late apex and actually a double apex uh, right-hander. And then up over a small crest, um, accelerating the whole time over this slight left-hander. Um, and then coming into a very sharp left-hander here, late apex. And I, I should have turned in earlier, I kind of missed it. Then it's uh, acceleration through that slight right-hander and staying full throttle all the way down this quasi straightaway, which isn't actually straight. What was a little scary about this is you can see I'm coming up to a crest. So I'm still full throttle. I'm going over 100 miles an hour, about that here. And then you come over this crest and you actually have to come across the track to the right into this relatively short braking zone into a very tight left-hander late apex hairpin here. But did that pretty well. Um, and then this is a double apex right-hander. Um, and I'm picking up speed here into the S's. So here's a left. And then still trying to carry speed right. And you can see the track's a little wet there, which always sketches me out a little bit. Left. And then into a pretty tight right-hander uh, under hard braking. That black patch in the track actually gives you more traction, so you can brake really hard there. Um, then accelerating here, flowing over to the right-hand side of the track because there's a left-hander coming up here, somewhat tight and, and down a steep hill. This was, I think, the, the sketchiest part of the whole course right here because there was standing water running across the track right there where the turn-in is for that right-hand corner. Then a quick left and then just kiss the right here and come into the tangent of, of this corner and I'm staying tight as I, as I track out to the right and then uh, picking up speed in this somewhat straight before the last kind of chicane of the track before the, the starting straight. So there's a pretty quick left here and then pretty quick right and then back onto the, the starting straight. And here's the starting one. And you can see one more time in this first corner, I, I actually took it a little wider this time to try to carry some more speed and strip so i don't know what the best line was but that was my best lap and uh stay tuned for day five tomorrow